Welcome back to my channel. Today we're making a LED matrix which we can control from Home Assistant. First we have to print the parts which you can find on printables. I'll put the link in the description. After heating up the soldering iron, I will first attach the LED connector to the Wemos D1 Mini. Here I'm connecting a USB-C breakout board to the LEDs and I'm including a 1000 microfarad capacitor. Always make sure you test your connections before you put everything together. It wouldn't be the first time I have to dismantle everything to do it all over again. After soldering and testing, it's time to install WLED on your Wemos D1 Mini. It's fairly straightforward. Plug in your Wemos D1 Mini into your USB port. Click and install. Choose the right port. Click and install again. Wait a few seconds. After it's installed, we're going to do the next step. Installation complete. Fill in your uh, SSID of your Wi-Fi, in my case, don't ask, it's my ID IoT network, put in your password, click on connect, congratulations, go to device. Now it's time to configure WLED, just go to config, we already set up Wi-Fi, go to LED preferences, fill in the right amount of LEDs, in our case 256, we press save, go to 2D configuration, choose the 2D matrix, fill in the right width, 32 by 8, we're doing vertical and it's serpentine and in the bottom the same vertical serpentine. Go back, that's the whole configuration. After WLED is installed we can put the Wemos D1 Mini into the case. We use two M2 screws for that. Before you ask in the comments, yes I taped the USB cable to the housing. Uh, this casing was designed for a USB breakout board of Adafruit. I used a cheap AliExpress one, so I had to tape the cable. Here I put the uh, threaded M3 inserts in with the help of my soldering iron. Don't put them too deep.
also make sure they are straight. When we're putting on the diffusers, make sure the LEDs are correctly aligned and then put screws in. Don't put them too far, otherwise you go through the front. Now the fun part, we have to configure Home Assistant. First we go to File Editor, go to the configuration.yaml. In my case I like to keep separate files for all my commands, so we make a separate file for rest underscore command.yaml. Put this in the configuration file, then we go to the rest underscore command.yaml file and uh, we do two entries. One for the text, uh, we put in the URL, slash JSON slash state, method is post, payload, I'll put that in the description. The N is the name for the segment, and this is how we do the text. And the other one is the pixel art, same URL, same method post, payload is I, and this way we can send pixel art to the lab matrix. After we put those lines in, we need to restart Home Assistant to make them active. Then we're gonna add a helper. Um, gonna choose text, give it a name. Choose an icon. save. Here you can see I add the helper to my custom dashboard. Next we're gonna make an automation that automatically refreshes uh, the pixel art when you put in new text. Uh, in the actions you put in the matrix that it goes to scrolling text. You make a preset for that. Here you can choose uh, fonts, colors, and everything in the preset. Make sure you select that, and after that, you update the text. Now we are going to add a button to send a pixel art to your matrix. Uh, first, you have to put a file or an image into the www folder inside the config folder and then you can address it here as forward slash local forward slash image name after you've done this we're gonna serve call service go back and specify which service we want to call in our case restful command for pixel art and then we need to fill in what we're gonna send and instead of target it has to be data and then pixel art And then we fill in the code we get from uh, a file called pixel art creator and, and that is from a fellow youtuber I put in the link below after you did this press save and ready and then we're gonna test if it works now we're gonna add text buttons and we're gonna make a helper and 
select button pick a name and save them uh, we're gonna make two buttons in this case it's time for dinner and someone at the door you can also using automations other thresholds uh, temperature threshold um, take out the trash anything you want and um, you can make an automation that when it's time to do that it sends the text to your matrix okay we're gonna add the buttons to the dashboard click save and add the next button save okay now we're gonna make automations add a new automation trigger status when the status changes of the button click the doorbell yep when it changes we're gonna do two actions one uh, device we're gonna make sure the matrix is on and if it's on we're gonna make sure it's on a preset and the preset is scrolling text preset for the pixel art that's not necessary but for scrolling text it is necessary to pick a preset that is scrolling text you can see here I made a green black one and a white red one and this way you can uh, customize each message you want to display by just making a preset which colors you want them to be we're gonna get a restful command we have to do this in the ammo editor because it's not in the UI in the data we're gonna specify the text that is gonna be in the matrix and then when we're done click save give the automation a new name and then click save again oh, I made a typo now we're gonna test the button and it changes from time to someone at the door This is the button time for dinner and now we're gonna test the pixel art buttons and some standard features from WLED they're really nice I love the matrix I hope you appreciate my work and if you could leave a like and subscribe.